if you are conducting a survey, you should consider presenting the results in a way that is easily understood by the audience. In general, the pie chart is a great way for presenting categorical data and for displaying the distribution of yes and no results from your survey. Hello everyone, welcome to Excel Demi, your day-to-day -day Excel and VBA tutorial helpline. This is Hadiul Basher and today I'll demonstrate how to make a pie chart in Excel without numbers. For this video, I will use Microsoft Excel 365. Here is a high school attendance survey. This dataset contains the responses of a group of people whether they attended high school or not. This includes the names and the corresponding answers. I will create a pie chart using this dataset. First of all, I will count the number of yes and no responses in this dataset. To do so, I will use the COUNTIF function that will count the number of cells within a range that meets the given condition. Go to cell F5, type equal, COUNTIF function. This COUNTIF function takes two arguments, the range and the criteria. For the range, select cell C5 to C10, press F4 to lock the cell references. This will lock both the rows and the columns. Put a comma. For the criteria argument, select cell E5, close the parenthesis and press enter. Great, the COUNTIF function has returned the number of yes present in this answer column. To count the number of no, you can either type the enter formula in the cell F6 or you can use the autofill feature. In my case, I will use the autofill feature. Select cell F5 and double click as the autofill icon appears. As you can see, the count of no is 2 in this dataset. Let's create the pie chart now. Select cells E4 to F6 that contains the count of yes and no. Move to the insert tab. From the chart section, choose insert pie or donor chart. This will open different options of pie and donor chart. In my case, I will select the 2D pie chart. Place the pie chart here to get a clear view of the dataset. You can see the responses are represented in this pie chart. This time, a group of students was asked about their favorite subjects. And their answers include multiple subjects. Here is the name and the answer of the students. Let's count the number of times math is present in this answer column. Go to cell F5, type equal, count if function. As the range, select cell C5 to C10, press F4 for absolute reference, place a comma. As a criteria, choose math, close the parenthesis, and hit the enter key. The COUNTIF function returns that math is present two times in this answer column. I will use the autofill feature to get the count of the other subjects present in this answer column. Go to cell F5 and double click when you will see the autofill icon. This will give you the count of the other subjects present in this dataset. To create the pie chart, select cells E4 to F7. Go to insert tab. From the chart section, click on insert pie or donut chart. Choose the 2D pie chart. That's it, I have got the desired pie chart. Here you will get the distribution of math, physics and biology for this group of students. You can create a pie chart using the pivot table feature. To create the pivot table first, select the cell B4 to C10, move to the insert tab. From the tables section, select pivot table. As a result, pivot table from table or range dialog box will pop up. You can see the data set is selected as a table or range. Next, to place the pivot table, you can either choose new worksheet option or create the pivot table in the existing worksheet. In my case, I am selecting the existing worksheet. For the location, choose cell B13. Now click on OK. This will open the pivot table fields. Check the answer field. You can see the answer field is added to the rows area. Now drag and drop the answer field to the values area. As a result, a pivot table is created here. Now to create the pivot chart from the tools section, click on pivot chart. This will open insert chart window. You will see a list of available charts here. In my case, I'll select the pie chart. You will get a preview of the pie chart here. Click on OK. This is the pie chart representation of the survey. 
In this tutorial, I have shown you two ways to make a pie chart in Excel without numbers. You can apply any of these methods according to your requirement. Make sure to download the practice workbook from the video description to sharpen your Excel skills. Feel free to leave any questions, suggestions or feedback in the comment section below. To check out our Excel blogs, you can visit excelremy.com. For more content like this, make sure to subscribe to our channel. Thanks for watching our video. Bye.